Greetings everybody. This is our uh, COA presentation for motherboard. This is my team. Uh, Sushmit Bhadkar, Mangesh Bhair. This is my team. Sushmit Bhadkar, Mangesh Bhair, Manisha Bhairam, Vedat Bailmare, Ramanuj and Sarvesh. Today I'm, we are going to talk about motherboards. So what are, what are motherboards? A motherboard is the main printed circuit board in general purpose computers and other expandable systems. It holds and allows communication between many of the crucial electronic components of a system such as the central processing unit and memory and provides connectors for other peripherals. Motherboards can be found in virtually all computers, especially desktop and laptop PCs. The components that connect through them uh, include chipsets, central processing units, CPUs and memory. The external peripherals include Wi-Fi, Ethernet and graphics cards with a graphics processing unit or GPU. Motherboard manufacturers include Acer, SROC, Asus, Gigabyte Technology, Intel and MicroStar International. A motherboard provides connectivity between the hardware components of a computer like the CPU, memory, hard drive and video card. There are multiple types of motherboards designed to fit different types and sizes of computers. Each type of motherboard is designed to work with specific types of processors and memory. So they don't wor work with every processor and type of memory. However, hard drives are mostly universal and work with most motherboards regardless of the type or brand. A uh, motherboard comes with the following features. A motherboard varies greatly in supporting various types of components. Motherboard supports motherboard supports a single type of CPU and few types of memories. Video cards, hard disks, sound cards have to be compatible with the motherboard function properly. Motherboard cases and power supplies must be compatible to work properly together. The main components of motherboard include CPU sockets, memory slots, CMOS battery, ISA, PSI and AGP slots. We are going to talk about these uh, slots and chipsets, uh, graphical devices, back panels and ports. A form factor. What is a form factor? A form factor defines size of the motherboard, general location of components and parts. Chipset defines type of processor and RAM supported. Built-in components with a built-in NIC, extra NIC is not needed. Motherboards, as I told earlier, are printed circuit boards. These highways of wires are called traces. Boards are standardized so that they can fit in cases. So the next will be explained by Sarvesh. IBM invented the AT form factor in the early 80s. In the era of IBM compatible personal computers, the AT form factor comprises the dimensions and layout of the motherboard of the personal computer named IBM AT. It lasted through mid 90s. It's currently not in use. It consisted of large keyboard socket and split power socket. The BB80 was its smaller version. Its alternatives were LPX and NLX motherboards, developed by Western Digital and Intel, respectively. Let's look more into the IBM AT. It was about the same size of BB80, had many ports accessible from rear of the PC, including mini DIN ports, which can be seen here. RAM was closer to Northbridge and CPU for better performance. It uses the soft power feature to turn PC on and off through software. We can see some of its ports here. This is the parallel port. This is the DVI port, the VGA port, usually used for projection, a few USB ports, a network, a network port, also known as the Ethernet, and basic input-output audio ports. Now let's look at the components of a motherboard. This is a CPU socket which generally holds the CPU chip. This is a CPU fan power control. These are the external ports mentioned earlier. These are the RAM slots. It is mainly used to save data and machine code. This is the power connector. A power supply provides the necessary electrical power to let the computer work. It, it takes standard 110 volt alternative current power to DC power of 12 volt. This is the north bridge and the south bridge. They are the two chips in the core logic chipset on the motherboard. Typically, the south bridge implements the so slower cap capabilities. The north bridge, also known as host bridge or memory controller, is responsible for tasks requiring the highest performance. This is a floppy port or also known as the floppy disk controller. It is a special purpose chip which controls and directs reading from the writing to a computer's floppy disk drive. These are EIDE ports. These are the DPS switches. The DIP switch is a manual electric switch packed with others in a standard dual inline package. The DIP switch is designed to be used on a printed circuit board together with other electronic components. It is usually used to customize the behavior of an electronic device for specific situations. These are front panel connections. This is the system clock battery or CMOS, complementary metal oxide semiconductor battery, also called as clock battery or real-time clock. It is generally a lithium coin cell. This is the flash BIOS chip. BIOS means basic input output system. It is a firmware that is used to perform hardware initialization during the booting process. These are the PCI slots, the peripheral component interconnect. It is a local computer bus for connecting hardware to a computer. 
these are the AGP slot accelerated graphics port. It was designed as a high speed point to point channel for connecting a video card to a computer system. Primarily, it was used to assist in the acceleration of 3D computer graphics. AGP is originally designed to be a descendant of the PCI series of connections for video cards, yet it was replaced by the PCI E slots. So, I'm Susmit Bahadkar, uh, I'm from Division B, role number 24, and I'll be teaching you guys about CPU sockets. So, a CPU socket or a CPU slot is a mechanical component that provides mechanical and electrical connections between a microprocessor and a PCB. The CPU this allows CPU to be replaced without soldering. So there are pins on CPU sockets, which I'll show you. So there are common co common sockets which have retention clips that apply a constant force, which must be overcome when a device is inserted. For chips with large number of pins, either zero four sockets or land gray sockets are used. Now I'll show you what a CPU socket looks like on a motherboard. You guys can see here, like I'm holding a mother, motherboard in my hand of a old computer I used to own, I own rather. So this is a CPU socket. This is a CPU socket. And as you can see, there are a number of pins in the CPU socket. And this is the Pentium processor, which fits in the CPU sockets. And as you can see, there are small circles which connect to the pins and we insert it as like this we insert the CPU like this and we close the clip and as we have said there are retention clips which apply a constant force this is the retention clip which applies a constant force and here's how we lock the C processor in a CPU socket okay all right next is uh, types of RAM. So there are different types of RAM. So you know what a RAM is, right? Random access memory. Random access memory is a form of computer memory that can be read and changed in any order. Typically used to store working data in machine code. So there are many types of RAMs in today's markets. So and the most widely used uh, types of RAM is DDR form, like double data rate. So most of the gaming computers today use DDR5 technology and my computer currently, which is an HP Victus, which it has DDR4. And right now I'm holding a RAM, random access memory. But this is a DIMM. As you can see, there are different types of RAM. 72 pin SIMM. SIMM is single input memory module, then SD RAM, then SO DIMM. DIMM is dual inline memory module and there is DDR RAM and there is again different types of RAMs. So this is a DIMM. So dual inline memory module. This is this which just fits on my motherboard and this this you can see is a RAM slot. This is channel A and this is channel B. Okay. So up next is CMOS battery. CMOS battery is a non-volatile BIOS memory, which refers to a small memory on PC motherboards that is used to store BIOS settings. It was traditionally called CMOS RAM because of its low volatile and low power complementary metal oxide, oxide semiconductor SRAM, such as Motorola MC146828 or similar. Okay, that was from my part. My team will teach you the rest of the part. Thank you. Uh, hello, I'm Ramanuj Bajaj and now I'm going to show you what are slots. There are mainly three different types of slots. The first one is ISA, also known as Industry Standard Architecture, which is made up, made up of 8-bit to or 16-bit parallel bus system that allows up to six devices to connect to your PC. Virtually all IBM compatible PCs made before the Pentium were based on ISA. ISA bus. This asynchronous bus architecture uses 16-bit addresses and an 8 megahertz clock and handle maximum data speed throughout like 2 Mbps to 3 Mbps. The second one is AGP, also known as Accelerates Graphic Port. 
it all it is also a high speed point to point channel for attaching a video card to a computer's motherboard the primary advantage of agp over pci is that it provides a dedicated pathway between a slot and processor rather than sharing the data to the bus system parallel bus system and the last one is pci also known as peripheral component in interconnect bus it uses a local bus system the system is independent of processor bus speed the pci architecture incorporates its own chipset which link the lo local bus to the main bus these links are called the bridges there are two bridges which are not in soc as you can see the there are different types of slots on our on this screen like the agp can be a middle one on the middle and the pc pci can be of different sizes uh, like you can get a smaller version of pci or also known as pci express 1 or you can get a more bigger version of the most biggest like pci express 16 now let's talk about the power connectors so what are power connectors power connectors are mainly device in which the electric electricity is passed through so you can supply the device uh, mainly now atx 24 pin is used in nowadays there are also six different types of power connectors like the 24 20 plus 4 pin into 1 pci connector sata into 2 floppy connector also used to connect with the floppies p4 mb connectors and a 4 pin molex connector Hi everyone. Let's talk about ATX. ATX stands for Advanced Technology Extended. Micro ATX and Flex ATX are the two smaller version of ATX. Many technologies and websites use these terms as a mini ATX to describe these boards. Micro ATX motherboard. The length of length and width of the motherboard measure in millimeters. are also 244 mm this motherboard has fewer ports and the slots than the standard atx board users who do not want to access connection and subsequent upgrades like adding more ram and extra gpu or pci cards are better suited for this kind of motherboard than others this motherboard may be installed in any case with enough space to accommodate 244 mm by 244 mm it can also install in larger cases that are compatible with the standard atx motherboard flex atx this atx form factor mainboard do not enjoy the same degree of popularity as their the atx form factor car counterparts they are once within a atx family that are considered the most compact they are designed to occupy minimal amount of space and have the minimal price tag flex atx is a modification of mini atx that intercredit credited between 1999 to 2000 it motherboard standard you cannot put the larger motherboard into the smaller case the manufacturer the manufacturers have a made accommodation for a smaller motherboards in larger cases btx btx is stand for balanced technology extended btx focus more on air flow than the atx also the btx require certain arrangement of motherboard components to maximize the cooling while the atx does not btx need heat and cooler form factor there are the three sub type of btx first one regular btx second micro btx third pico btx btx regular btx is designed for to replace the atx second micro btx is designed for replace the micro atx and third pico btx is designed for to replace the flex btx as i can say the, there are the three types of btx the pico btx is standard can support either one 
for two expansion slots and has a four mounting holes. P Pico BTX cases will have the 3.5 and one is 5.5 drive bay. The micro BTX standard which, mo which is most expecting to be the most popular of three has the support for four expansion slots and has a seven mounting holes. Micro BTX cases will feature one 3.5 bay and the up to the 5.5 base. The regular full size BTX motherboard support seven expansion slot and the mount to the case using the 10 mounting screws. Regular BTX case cases will be the more like a mid tower ATX cases supporting three or 3.5 base and three or more than 5.5 base. The pro priority form factors. It has a unique specific company. It does not follow. It does not follow standard and drive purchase to the company. It is a difficult to support. Thank you. Chipset. Chipset is a set of electronic components in an integrated circuit that manage the data flow between processor, memory, and peripherals. It is usually found in motherboard of computer. Chipset are usually designed to work with a specific family of microprocessor because it is control communication between the processor and external devices. The chipset plays an important role in determining the system performance. Chipset is a smaller set of chips that have replaced a large amount of chips. It is a job to control data flow between CPU, peripherals, bus slot and memory slot. It also helps different part of computer to communicate with a CPU. There are two types of bridges present in a chipset. First is North Bridge, second is South Bridge. In North Bridge helps in North Bridge helps to CPU work with RAM on Intel based system and it also helps to communicate with video on newer AMD system. Southbridge handles the expansion devices and mass storage of DU drive and it also helps to sites between expansion slots EIDE and FDD controller also called IO computer hub, ICH5 or peripheral bus controller. Super IO chips provides a legacy support. As you can see in the diagram, this is a north bridge and this is a south bridge. North bridge is directly connected to the CPU. First is the diagram of an older north bridge and second is the diagram of newer north bridge. This is the diagram of a new oldly designed my chipset and this is a diagram involves a modern chipset which is designed newly. So thank you so much.